Hello my babies, welcome back to another video. If you're new, hi, my name is Esther and it's so good to have you guys tuning in yet in another video. So in today's video is going to be a five minute makeup look. Yes, I said it, five minutes girl. This makeup look is perfect for you moms. Always on the go, ladies, okay? Um, students out there, you don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup, but you also want to look alive like myself. I felt like in the beginning of this video, I just look, huh, my skin is not doing the greatest. But with this makeup look, it looks like my skin is just glowing and I look so natural and so fresh and... I look like myself, but even better with some help from the products that I use in today's video. So without further ado, you guys, as always, grab yourself a snack, tea, whatever, get comfortable. I have here my pumpkin spice latte drink here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started, my loves. We're just going to go ahead and dive into this video. I'm not going to ramble too much. <laughs> I'm going to try not to, um, but we're going to start with the face. My skin feels so dry. We are transitioning, like the weather is getting cold out here. Like today is really, really cold actually. I love it because I enjoy fall, but my skin does not enjoy seasons like this because it gets extremely dry. But don't worry girl, I have here my Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Water Gel and this is the extra dry skin. Now if you have dry skin like me, then you will love this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. I apply a good amount because right now my skin is definitely needing the moisture. Oh, God, it's so dry, it's so dry, it hurts, and I'm breaking out right here. You guys, it was just a couple weeks ago, I was telling y'all how my skin is looking so good, and then out of nowhere, boom, like boom, 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 boom. So I'm gonna jump into my brows next. I've already plucked my brows, so they look pretty clean and super thin. Um, even though this is a five minute makeup, my problem areas when it comes to my face is always my brows and my under eye darkness and puffiness. So I love to take a little bit more time um, on those areas only because I have five minutes. I want to cover areas that I feel like need a little bit of help. So for brows, I have been really loving the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Pencil, y'all. If you haven't tried this out, girl, what are you doing? This has been so good. Now, if you love the benefit, I'm sure you're going to love this one as well. So because I have moisturized, I'm gonna grab a setting powder, any setting powder, does not matter. I'm going to set my brows because Obviously with the moisture on my skin, the brows are also moisturized. <laughs> and I don't like dealing with moisturized brows. So this sucks up all of that moisture. And if you have oily skin, this is a good step for you as well. We're gonna jump into cleaning up the brows. Now before we do that, I know y'all can hear the noise upstairs. They're banging on stuff. They're actually working on upstairs for somebody who's moving in. So there's gonna be a little bit of noise. Please, please, please try to ignore that. I've been trying to film this video for you guys all week, but they have been doing work literally every day. And because I use natural lighting, they're not done until like five or six and I don't ever film in the evening. So bear with me. We're going to try to get this video out for y'all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clean down my brows with the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Concealer. I'm going to mix 380 and 420 together. I feel like they're perfect shades when it comes to a five minute makeup look for myself. 380 is a tad bit brighter, but I like 380 when I'm doing a whole full glam. I realize that. Um, but 380 on its own, it's not one of the shades I would grab. So now it is time to prime. Now, if you have already moisturized and you're not really a primer type of girl, then you can skip this step, but I am, girl, okay? Primer does make a difference. I've seen it, I've witnessed it, and I am a big, firm believer in primer. Smashbox Photo Finish 
primers, primer and moisturizer. Hello, so we are moisturizing and primer again. I'm telling y'all, if I can get more moisture on my skin, I'm taking advantage of it. So I'm glad that this primer has that as well. We wanna make sure our base is taken care of because we're not applying so much product on my skin at all. So even though you're gonna be able to see the little acne scarring and stuff, I still want my skin to look, you know, very moisturized and healthy underneath. The next step is exciting because this product has been another holy grail of mine i'm telling you a lot of products in this video are holy grails because i've been using them for my five minute makeups and makeup look and i've been loving it but this l'oreal like tinted serum is amazing i can't put this down so if you haven't tried this out i think you should give it a shot see if you like it um, now, when it comes to tinted serum, I love them, depending on which one, because not all of them are good. Trust me, I've tried a couple and I'm not really a big fan of them, but this one has been something that I can't put down, and for it to be affordable, just a bonus for me. Now, with this product, I would recommend you to um, apply it with your fingers, with your hands, um, but today I don't want to get my hands dirty, okay, so I'm going to use a beauty blender, and it's going to, you know, act as good. Again, less is more, so we're just applying, putting a few dots on my skin. Instantly, my skin looks so much better than before with a, without applying too, too much on it. My skin looks so radiant. Um, I love how it's looking. It's looking healthy, and that's why I love this product because it literally gives you the most healthiest glow um, it, it looks so good. It looks so good. I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I am going to grab 380 just to add a little bit of highlight. I'm not going to contour or anything like that. This is just going to add a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes. We are blended pretty nicely, looks very smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and set because there's no way you're gonna walk out the house without setting your creams or liquids, or you're just gonna be not even, you're not gonna go far without it just separating and stuff. So I'm gonna, gla I'm gonna, gra so I'm gonna grab one of my favorite, favorite, favorite setting powders, and it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You guys should guess what time it is. Bronzer time, girl. We cannot forget bronzer. I feel like bronzer makes you look sunkissed and um, takes this look into another level that you even tried, you know? <laughs> bronzer be winning, okay? So I'm grabbing this Beauty Bay bronzer in the shade Cinnamon. By the way, this is like five bucks or four dollars worth every penny. So good. If you have watched me for a long time, <laughs> I never miss my eyelids. When I apply concealer, I always apply on my eyelids. Recently, I've been loving to leave it like that for my five minute makeup looks. So I do go ahead and grab my MAC Mineralize Setting Powder. This does not set my eyes. It just adds a little bit of touch of color, um, pretty much like an eyeshadow that looks really, really natural. Normally, I again, I would apply concealer, set it, then I, I would apply this, but just to add a little flesh of color, I feel like this looks the most naturalist. All right, so we added some color. Um, now, <laughs> if you have time, apply lashes. But realistically, I don't have time to apply lashes. I don't have time to apply glue, sit here and let it air dry. No, we don't have time for that. But I do have time to apply a few coats of mascara. I don't wanna leave my lashes looking too, too bare. So mascara is just gonna pull my lashes out a little bit more because my lashes are short and they're also curly. So this does 
help a lot at least any mascara that I choose so this is the benefit um, they are real mascara this is actually my first time trying this product out so we're gonna see if I actually like it my, my lashes are so like they need help too my brows and my lashes need a lot of help if you have long lashes girl you're blessed you're blessed with that department all right y'all so we can't forget about blush i love blush so so much i feel like it seals the whole look for me adds a little nice color to the cheeks so for that i'm gonna grab the rare beauty nearly apricot blush super super pretty color Now blush is just one of those products that after a while throughout the day it's just going to low-key disappear. So if you add a lot, don't worry, grab your beauty blender and just blend it all in there. And it's just going to look like it's you blushing and not a product sitting on your face. Alright you guys, last but not least, we love a little glow. Now, I feel like this is a lot of products <laughs> coming to you guys, but... Um, I've realized with me doing this in five minutes, I get it done so fast, it don't seem like I have a lot of products going on. Um, so yeah, we can't forget about a nice little glow because I love me a nice glow. So I'm grabbing the Iconic London Illuminator in the shade Glow. It's the darkest one that they have. And I'm just going to apply this to the points that I feel like um, need a little bit of natural glow going on. This is literally all I do. A little bit on my nose. This makeup look is pretty much done, but we have to set, right? Um, depending on what kind of setting spray you want to go for, I love me a nice dewy, especially for a look like this. So why not grab my Black Radiance Dewy Setting setting spray y'all this is the real deal it does leave your skin looking extremely dewy and i love me a nice dewy even if it's not summer give me dewy all year come on in honey and i got a surprise for you too whenever you're ready about what no 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 i'm ready now i'm ready now everybody and their mama should have this product but in case you don't have it Esther approves you need to get it it's a lip plumper I don't need a lip plumper but I just love the color it looks so good like juicy oh so bomb and it is the Fenty Beauty heat lip gloss girl so so good you guys are gonna see it on me run to Sephora run to Fenty Beauty in fact it will be in the description box just run there run there put it in your cut and you're done this is this is it mm, this is so pretty I'm not even gonna apply a lip liner because there's no need at all mm. All right, my babies, so this completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did um, I am in love, okay? So in love you can definitely achieve this look within five minutes or even less depending how fast and quick you are um, this is probably I always say this this kind of looks are one of my favorites because a they're the quickest and B they are the most naturalist looks ever and I love me a good old natural beat as always thank you for tuning in you guys I love y'all so so much now up in the sauna and do not forget to subscribe if you're new Hit that notification bell and also give this video a big thumbs up because it's going to let me know if you guys want more makeup looks coming your way. I love y'all and I will see you guys in another video. Bye beautiful.